Hi, I'm one of the many healthcare providers here in Southern Oregon. Together with my colleagues, we want to share some information about the vaccines that are becoming available to help stop the spread of COVID-19, also known as the novel coronavirus. Currently, there are two approved vaccines being given free of charge. Both vaccines have been studied and shown to be safe and effective at preventing a COVID-19 infection. Vaccines have been used for hundreds of years to stop disease. In 1776, during the Revolutionary War, vaccination against smallpox was one of the most important duties for physicians of the day. Many of you may remember taking a sugar cube to help stop the spread of polio in the 1950s. And today, we've all heard of the yearly flu vaccine. And our children are immunized against diphtheria, pertussis, also known as whooping cough, measles, mumps, and rubella. Because of vaccines, these diseases are something we, as healthcare professionals, are thankful to no longer see in our practice. That is wonderful. Right now, with the global pandemic hovering over us, we are fortunate to have a vaccine available to protect us. These vaccines are mRNA vaccines. But what is mRNA? mRNA is a copy of a specific portion of the DNA code that tells a cell to make a protein. DNA is the blueprint or code for life that is found in every living thing, including us, animals, and even bacteria and viruses. Our body and the COVID-19 virus are both made of proteins. One of the proteins on the surface of the coronavirus is called the spike protein. This is the protein that our body's immune system needs to recognize as foreign and mount a response against in order to protect us. Our bodies have never seen the type of protein made by COVID-19, so we don't have the antibodies to fight off the infection if we get it. Most people who do get COVID-19 will mount an immune response, get sick, and improve. Unfortunately, some people don't get better, and we see those statistics rising daily in our country. Scientists from around the world have been able to isolate a copy of the mRNA, or set of instructions, that tells a cell to make the spike protein. They're using that specific set of instructions as the basis for the vaccine. By having the strand of mRNA placed inside you, your cells will get the message and start to make the spike protein. Your immune system will then begin to develop antibodies against the spike protein. The mRNA instructions are thrown away once your cells have read the message, but your body will have made antibodies against the virus. Through this process, you can help your immune system learn to fight off the virus and protect you without being given the actual virus. That's right you cannot get the coronavirus from the vaccine. During stage three trials, the vaccine was given to over 72,000 people in the United States. People were monitored closely for any serious side effects. When compared with a placebo, there is no statistically significant difference seen in the two groups. The vaccine has been shown to be 95% successful in preventing an infection. Vaccines from decades past were only around 70% effective. Some people feel the vaccine came out too fast without proper study. That is not true. It is safe and effective. What we don't know is how long it will last. That is the missing piece from the study. Since the vaccine was approved for use, hundreds of thousands of people have received the vaccine. The most common side effects are a sore arm or fever. This just means that your immune system is working to protect you. The vaccine is approved for individuals 16 years of age and older. It is currently being studied for safety and effectiveness in children. For us to see a return to how life used to be, we need to reach herd immunity. This means that most people in our community must receive the vaccine. We strongly encourage you to receive the vaccine when it is available to you. Please check the Josephine County website for availability and distribution sites. When you weigh the risks and the benefits of taking the vaccine versus getting the disease, Obviously, there's far less risk for the vaccine. You have trusted providers in our community to fix broken bones, operate for appendicitis, treat heart attacks, sew up cuts, treat high blood pressure, and many other health problems. Trust us now that we have the best interests of this community in mind. The vaccine is safe and effective and will protect your community. We encourage you to receive the vaccine as it becomes available. The vaccine is free to you. It's safe and effective. Vaccines are safe for pregnant women, Vaccines are available for those 16 and older. We encourage you to get the vaccine as it becomes available to you. Get the vaccine to protect you, your family, your friends, and your community. By decreasing the spread of the virus, our small businesses can open, our schools can meet in person again, and you can help save others' lives. I got my vaccine. I hope you'll get yours too.